the the chickens and is this a chicken or a rooster? A turkey. A turkey. <laughs> as you can, as you can. That's wait a minute, what is people from LA to come here <laughs> and know the difference between a chicken and a turkey? This is a turkey, and of course, we're so happy that every Thanksgiving Persia comes out and helps us feed the turkeys for Thanksgiving instead it's, of. Eating the turkey. Yeah, we don't want to upset them. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, that is awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a really great way to celebrate the holiday and promote compassion for all beings. And we're really fortunate to have Persia as a spokesperson for Animal Acres. Mm-hmm. She's been at just about every event feeding animals. She's a barn mucker. This girl will do everything. It is great. <laughs> we're very lucky to have her be a spokesperson. I am so excited. So, for some of you that are watching, this is what a turkey looks like alive. And aren't they're gorgeous? Now I feel very guilty. I'm done. <laughs> I stopped eating beef and pork years ago, so now I need to add the turkey. Right. I can't eat you anymore. Let's let's see. I, I'm so sorry. I apologize from everybody out there watching. You don't want any? She's gonna go see if this. He's wondering. He wants this good stuff. He's like, I. Think He's like, that's. Lori's like, let me go see. He's like, I don't want that. See, this is. We're gonna look. There's. Oh, look at these. So what are these? These are ducks. Okay, like over here we got ducks and chickens and. Well, look at that furry. Is that a chicken? That's a chicken. Wow. A wild. And like you got the wild hair. Oh, you? okay. Like like me. Like if I didn't have this wig on. <laughs> look at this. Yes. Look what I got. All right. Let's see if I can uh, make a friend for life. Persia, look what we got. Wait a minute. How big can? Is he's not gonna take my finger off, right? <laughs> I did it. I did it. Wow. See, now this is the first time you fed a turkey and instead of the turkey feeding you. Exactly. <laughs> Here, you go to her. Okay. He smells it. Oh, it's quite Oh, that's awesome. You done? I love this. <laughs> See, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to feed turkeys. Oh, look at the chicken. Oh, wait. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. I'm not going to wait until you give it to me. Chickens are like, don't, don't forget about us. Don't put this in your pocket. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Okay. That won't be good. They'll See, be they're, they're very hungry. Well, they know this is like sweet snacks to them. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're going to talk about chickens, and I'm not talking about being afraid. Um, these little white chickens here, the really small ones, they love these sweet treats. So let me hold this out of the way. They're very social. Um, normally you, you, they would have a a full beak, but their beaks have been cut off. If you might notice, if you look a little closely, because they, um, in factory farms, they slice the beaks off with hot blades. Um, so the chickens won't basically peck each other to death because they go insane in these tiny little cages called battery cages. And the little ones are bred to be really small. And um, they actually go into shock sometimes um, because of the conditions and being in this tiny little cage where they can't spread their wings and move around. And to get them to lay eggs again, they starve them. And when you're going into starvation, it's called a shock um, that your body goes into and it makes them start producing eggs again um, as they're starving to death. And that's what a lot of factory farms do. The stress is so bad on these guys. So these guys are really happy because, you know, they now have full freedom, and even though they're missing part of their beaks and a little little uh, mess up, <laughs> they get a lot of fun social behavior, and you know, so you can see a real chicken, but that's one of the reasons I think um, eggs aren't, you know, they're not just unhealthy, but they're quite cruel, and they're not coming from natural process of, you know, you picture an egg, and you picture the chicken in a little nest, all happy. Meantime, he's been squished in a little tiny cage, and he can barely, can barely move. These guys are very happy chickens. So they have the smaller ones to produce the eggs. <laughs> yeah, and then there's, um, you know, the meat chickens. And once again, they go insane too. Their feet get crippled and deformed because in those cages, they never really get to touch the ground. And they go nutties. But here, now it's just competition for sweet treat bread. The fact is, people have been completely... And not educated. Yeah, and, because yeah. The, those factory farms want to like live off of your you know lack of information. Mm-hmm. 
And the more you get out there and read and learn, if you do decide to change, mm-hmm. you're going to be excited because you're going to realize you're going to look good. You're going to feel great. better. You're yeah. going to feel better. You help the planet, help the animals, right. help the water. There's so many benefits. Cancer, diabetes. Right. Like the list just goes on. It started off for me just like thinking, oh, that's cruel. And then I started, oh, people told me, oh, you need protein, you're going to die. And then I started researching, and I was like, you guys are dead wrong. <laughs> like, absolutely wrong. And and I just thought it was mean. And you can see right here, like, I wouldn't take one of these guys and cut its head oh, off. And, no, no, no. I mean, come on, like, we have choices. No Think way, it. no it's, way. It's crazy, right? And it was, I thought it was difficult for me because I was such a meat eater, and I would, I stopped eating beef and pork. Like right around Thanksgiving, like eight nine years ago, and I haven't oh. had touched it since then. Sometimes I see some ribs, I'm like, like nah. It's just barbecue <laughs> sauce. See, right. I, I put that sauce on anything. I right. I it up. I spice it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. And so I cut it out. And at first, I cut out turkey and um and chicken as well. And then they were like, you're not getting enough protein. That's the myth. <laughs> That's the bit. I'm like, oh, I better have it. So now that I'm out here, it looks like my diet is gonna change again. So we're gonna we're gonna walk some more. We're gonna see some more of Animal Acres. We'll be back. Put that meat down. <laughs>